All right, so in this video, I wanna show you how to do reverse sourcing of your best retail products, right? So essentially what this is, is once you do find some good products via the searches that I've gone, gone over in the course previously, right? So maybe you used Source Mogul, you identified, uh, you know, some good retail products, you found a retail supplier and you listed it up, right? Or maybe you did some of the manual sourcing methods, you figured out and you reverse engineered like another Amazon seller, you figured out who the supplier was and you set up, a, you know, whatever it is, right? Now you have some retail products and you've, you've got some data on them on, on which is selling, right? So not only do you want to protect this product and your business long term by potentially finding the wholesale supplier, but you also want to cut out the middleman. You want to cut out the retailer and go straight to the brand, straight to the distributor or the wholesaler. So obviously, like I said, you're building a more long term sustainable business and protecting your products and your account with the actual wholesale or distributor supplier. But on top of that, you're you're increasing your margin because you're going straight to the source and you're cutting out the, the middleman who is the retailer, whoever that is, whatever site, whatever, um, you know, store, right? So this is an example of a product where you can do this reverse sourcing strategy. So what you want to do, this is a product I used to sell. And you can see I literally found it here on the supplier. Uh, and this is just an example of one. You can do this with every single product. Now, every single product is not going to be, you know, easy to find. You won't find every single product, but this is a way that you can do it and find wholesale suppliers. So instead of actually going to a wholesale supplier and finding the wholesale supplier first, right, then, you know, grabbing their product catalog, seeing which ones are profitable, and then setting up a dropship relationship with them for those products. Instead, you're starting at the source. Now you have the product you know it's profitable on a retailer, so that retailer must be getting it from somewhere, right? And if you can find where that retailer um, or that store or that website is getting it from wholesale and you can set up that wholesale relationship with them, well, then you can drop ship it, assuming that they're obviously drop ship friendly, and you can cut out the middleman and make more of a profit, right? So it's just reverse kind of engineering it. Now, essentially, once you know what, what products are good, right? So there's two ways to basically do this. You can take the, the title, which really won't work that well here, Sometimes it does take the title of the product and then type it into Google and say like distributor at the end of it or wholesaler or something like that. Now that works every once in a while and it's always worth a shot to try, but what works better is actually going to the brand. So you can see the brand here is GE Lighting, right? So what you want to do instead is you want to go to GE Lighting Distributors, right? And then you want to type in the brand and then distributors or type in the brand and then suppliers and then type or type in the brand and then click wholesaler, right? Any one of those. So supplier, distributors, wholesaler, and then search that and it should find some good suppliers for you, right? And that's exactly how you get Granger, who is um, a, a GE supplier here, right? Now, I haven't actually vetted them. I'm just showing an example of a product that I used to sell because obviously I'm not bringing up products that I currently have in my catalog because you know, it took me a while to find those. And I'm giving you, rather than giving you the products, like I always say, like instead of teaching somebody or instead of, you know, giving someone a fish, I want to teach them how to fish. And so the same thing here, right? Like I'm not giving you products. I'm teaching you how to find products so that you can go out and find products that are long-term sustainable, that will bring in revenue for your business that I might not have, that nobody else is going to have because only you can do and replicate, you know, with the tools that I'm teaching, you, right? So don't necessarily go after this product. Don't set up an account with Granger. I'm just giving you an example of how you can actually go out and do this and reverse source your best retail products and find the supplier, right? So when you type this in, okay, Granger sells, you know, now we know since we found that, and obviously it's never going to be that easily, easy usually. That's why I'm using this as an example. It could be, you know, further down. There could be multiple suppliers, right? So right here, Raptor Supplies, GE Lighting Distributor. Here's another one, right? You could look into, into Graybar and all the other you know, things go into play here. Like, is it a wholesaler? Is it an actual distributor, right? When you open up an account on them, um, you know, do you have to put in your EIN? Are they asking for those things? Do they, do they come off as a wholesale supplier? Um, are they dropship friendly? Is there a minimum order quantity? All those things are things that you still, that still come into play that you still need to ask about the wholesale supplier when you're looking through them. But this is just a way where you can start from the end and then work back to the beginning, right? Rather than start at the beginning with a wholesaler and then work to the end with the actual product that's profitable, right? So for example, if we were on Granger, right? Now, okay, we know Granger sells GE lighting products, but do they sell our lighting products? So what I literally did is I copied the title then and I pasted it into the search bar and you could see that that product pops right up right there. It's the same exact product. Now, obviously you'd have to find the certain variation of that product, but you can see pretty much here, um, you know, if you drag this over, 
This is the same product with the same exact title. Obviously, you'd have to find, like I said, the specific variation that you're listing and selling there with the specific watts and all that good stuff, right? But this is the same exact product. It sells for $23.68 on Amazon. GE selling it at most for $10.65. So even with a little bit of shipping, assuming that they don't have any minimum, minimum order quantity, uh, you don't have to order like multiples of it, obviously, and you could order one. Assuming they allow drop shippers and they're willing to work with you with that, then this would be a potential good supplier and you could obviously go ahead and sign up. Now, I obviously signed up just to kind of test this to see if they were, but, you know, and I don't actually sell from Granger, full disclosure. I'm just giving you an example. Um, I literally just did this like 20 minutes before the video to make sure that everything was in place. So I gave you a decent example, but this is kind of how you can reverse engineer them, right? Like find instead of, like I said before starting with the wholesaler and then figuring out what products they have, figuring out if those products are good on Amazon and they're profitable and all that good stuff. Instead, what you can do, since you already have, most of you will start with retailers, right? Since you already have good retail products, instead find out who those retailers are getting their products from, cut out the retailer, find the actual wholesaler, find the supplier, find the brand, and then drop ship directly from them if you're able so that you obviously protect yourself long term by turning your retailers into wholesale suppliers. And and you're obviously protecting your account by doing that because then you're you're doing it directly from the wholesaler and you're, you're increasing your profit margins by doing so. All right. So that's kind of how you can re uh, reverse source your best retail products. Hope it helps.